All right, I'm going to be testing some op amps or showing a particular um, parameter of an op amp that you might not be familiar with. Um, it was actually a viewer request that I do this, and I think it's a good idea. So um, I, I laid out this PC board a while ago, and I'm going to be using it. Now I needed more, so thanks to PCBWay for uh, making me some more boards. I'll put a link down below. Uh, PCBWay, I have a share site there, and you can order a bunch of boards that I've designed. This is a very, very popular board that I did. Um, I've sold quite a few of these, um, and I get a 10% royalty, so yeah, go get one. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use two of these boards. We're going to set up one in one mode and another in another mode, and uh, they will do the same function, but they'll have different um, function, uh, different, uh, how do I say this? One will be better than the other. <laughs> how about that? Yeah, they'll, they'll do the exact same thing, but one will be better, and uh, so we'll learn about that. All right, I'm going to be using, let's see, what am I going to be using? I'm going to be using the bottom section here only. So the way that this board works is uh, you put in one device here and then you have these two circuits and you put in this device, you have these two circuits. So two different op amps and each op amp has as a dual op amp and each op amp is a different functionality. So I'm going to be using just the bottom half. Okay. And so we will be on one board, we'll be using one op amp and on the other board, we'll be using two op amps in series. Um, so yeah, let me get those loaded up. It'll make more sense once I get them loaded up and we start playing with it. So yeah, let me put on some parts. All right. Uh, so this board has, uh, two circuits on it, a times 10 amplifier and a times 10 amplifier. So we'll get a, a gain of a hundred. And this one has one stage that has a gain of a hundred. So it has a one K a hundred K and we will populate these two with the same op amp and uh, see uh, see which one works better. If they work the same, take a look. All right, so we have an op amp in here. This is a TL-082. The TL-082 is being driven with a uh, generator and we're looking at the output. This has a 1K resistor on the input and a 100K resistor as a feedback. So it's a gain of, gain of 100. Uh, so let's come up and take a look. Let me turn the power on to the op amp. I have plus or minus 12 volts coming in. All right, and let's um, let's put in a frequency of one kilohertz. So here's one kilohertz. So it's a nice, nice thing going on. Let me turn a cursor on. Cursors on manual. And uh, let's see here why. Uh, let's just put that one down there. And the X's we'll just put out of the way. I just want one cursor. I just want one cursor, okay? And um, so that one cursor. Um, and why? Oops, why is this one here? Okay, so this is our peak to peak. And so I'm going to hit it. I'm going to uh, go up here and it's measuring, uh, it's measuring five volts. Okay, I'm going to get out my calculator and I'm going to take that five volts and I'm going to multiply it by 0 0.707. I'm going to get three and, a, three and a half volts. Okay, so three and a half. So let's lower the cursor down to three and a half. Oops, right about there. Okay, so let me then go to the generator, which is in the scope, and I'm going to increase the frequency. And you can see that at some point we start to drop, uh, we start to drop uh, because of the bandwidth of the part. Okay, and we can test the bandwidth of our part, speed of our part. We're going to go about here and uh, I'm going to say it's happening right at about 38. Uh, nope. Let me go up again. 31. Let's say 31 kilohertz. So this 
this particular circuit with a times 10, or times 100, is 30 kilohertz. So 30 kilohertz on 10 is 300, times 10 is 3 megahertz. And these are 3 megahertz parts, so it's testing just about right. So 3 megahertz divided by 100 gives us 30 kilohertz. So everything seems to be operating great, okay? So let's then go back down and do this with the other circuit, okay? Should be easy to turn off the power. We'll move it over. Now this particular circuit here also has a gain of 100, but it does it with a times 10 and a times 10, okay? And let's go ahead and hook everything back up. Oops. All right. And I'll turn the power back on. Everything's good to go. All right, so let's go back up to our uh, oscilloscope. And um, so we can look at some frequencies. Here's 10 kilohertz. And we keep going up and up and up until it finally gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And we'll figure out at what frequency does it do the 0.707 thing. Oops. And I'd say maybe about, maybe about there. Okay. And it's 150 kilohertz. Five times faster. Five times faster. <laughs> All right. So what did we just show? Well, there is a relationship between the gain and the speed. And if you have two parts that are only gains of 10, then each one has a gain of, well, has a maximum frequency of 300 kilohertz. So 300 kilohertz and 300 kilohertz back to back gives us 150 kilohertz. Okay. And this one with a single is just three megahertz divided by hundred, which is 30 kilohertz. So yeah, if you need a whole bunch of gain and you need speed, then it's better to do it in stages. There's other reasons why you might want to do that as well. But today's experiment is that if you do two stages of 10, it's way faster than, than one gain of 100. So don't know if you've seen that before, but uh, it's a thing and you have to worry about it.